Hey, Newbie Dan here, and this is an updated Newbie Tooltip about stiff back sandpaper and other options. Newbie Tooltips are short videos that highlight specific tools or techniques. They're not intended to be in-depth reviews or tutorials, and they're not sponsored by anyone. After I released this video, I got a lot of comments about better options. I'm not too proud to admit when someone has a better idea. So after this original part, which takes less than a minute, I'll discuss the better options. I've been working on crosscut sled videos, and I had a situation where I needed to sand a runner down just a little. It's hard to use conventional sandpaper here because it's such a small surface. And that got me to thinking. A while back, I bought some sanding belts for my belt and disc sander, but when I finally tried them, they were the wrong size and it was too late to return them. But one thing about sanding belts is, they're very stiff. So I cut a piece off the belt and tried using that on the runner. It worked perfectly. You can buy sanding belts for less than $10 on Amazon. Even if you don't own a belt sander, you might want to consider buying a sanding belt so you can cut it up for times like this. I realize that a pack of 10 is overkill, but the price is right. There's links in the description below. What other sanding methods have you tried for situations like this? Leave a comment and let us know. Thanks. And you did. The consensus seems to be to attach sandpaper to a piece of scrap wood, either by using spray adhesive or using adhesive-backed sandpaper. I think this is a great idea. Just make sure you have a nice, clean, sharp edge on the wood and that you line up the sandpaper correctly. Thanks to everyone who suggested this. Check out the description for links to products seen in this video. Just scroll down, click Show More, and scroll down until you see the links. And if you like what I do here, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell to get notified about new videos. Thanks.